Hey everybody, welcome to PC Perspective. Ryan Shrout, Alan Malventano. We're here to talk about an SSD. Let's do it. Sweet. Oh, I didn't and you knocked it over. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah, so uh, Crucial, Micron, both, whatever you want to call it, right? Same company. Yeah, at CES, uh, back in January, launched a new version of the MX100 one, MX called the MX200, and then they kind of also wanted to keep a really low-cost SSD in their lineup. Sure. Because they were going to kind of make the MX line a little more premium-ish. Uh, so they launched a BX100 series at the same time. This is like super low cost per gig. Like, is, That's their goal. They want like decent performing SSD. Yeah. Cheapest they could possibly make. Basically. So what's the controller in it? Silicon Motion. It's okay. The, it's that 2246EN Silicon Motion controller. We saw that in the Angelbird SSD work, hmm. uh, Corsair Force LX. You know, we've tested in a, f a few different SSD models yeah. recently. Um, Performance on it, relatively good? Actually... Uh, so remember how we were always dinging that um, those other SSDs I just mentioned we were saying, well, if you go in the smaller capacities, the write speeds are kind of low, yeah. like, you know, 150 megabits Because second. of the number of die that were on yeah, there. Yeah, there's only, yeah. it's only so parallel, right? Well, Micron is using, they did something, basically, to make those dies communicate faster on writes. Hmm. There's just something. It's basically, there's not more dies on no, it. No, there's not more dies. Uh, there's not more flash. It's the same type of die. Yeah. Uh, it's not a huge gain. It's about 20% speed boost okay. over over those other competing models. Sure. So, where the limit used to be like 300 meg per second for a 250 gig and like 150 meg per second for a 128 gig or 120 gig, right? Right. These are actually 370 and 185. Right speeds. Yeah. Okay. And, what are the, and the read speeds are at just, like it just maxes like five something. Yeah, it's like 554. Well. Depending on who says what spec, but I mean, okay, they're pretty sure. much saturating SATA. Basically. So read speeds are fine. Read speeds are great. Write speeds are not amazing, but probably pretty good for the majority of people uh, out there. Not amazing in the lower capacities. Oh, okay, true. Right? But once you get 500 gig and one terabyte, you're basically saturating on reads and writes. Which ones did we review? We had the 500 gig and the 250. 250. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we wanted. Uh, they wanted to send like one terabyte samples and. I specifically told them, look, we need to have a better spread of the, sure. the more typical, you know, what people, ones will people actually are going to buy. buy. Yeah. yeah, makes sense. Um, yeah, so I mean, good performance, you know, better performance than we've seen out of the other silicon motion controlled SSDs, right? Because if you increase the write speed a little bit, it's going to give you better performance all around. Sure. Um, and the really big thing here is the fact that, you know, good, solid performer SSD, and then you get to the cost, which it's is. It's like $1,000. Uh, no. So, like, the 500 gig drive is like $1,000? No. Well, how much is it? 500 gig drive is 180 bucks. Okay. That's cheaper than $1,000. That is so, 36 cents a gig. And these are actually for sale today. Yeah. Right? So, you can get a 500 gig on Amazon for $179, 250 for $94, mm -hmm. and 120 gig for $67. Bucks. Yep. Or you can get a 1 terabyte for $379. Now, here's the thing. I would say don't get the 1 terabyte. Okay. I know it sounds kind of weird, but if you're really looking for one terabyte mm -hmm. and you have a desktop PC and you can fit more than one SSD in there, buy a pair of 500 gigs because you'll save yourself 20 bucks. Sure. And the performance will be roughly double. Like if you raid zero SSDs. Right. We often we often discuss that the idea of raiding SSDs, put them in raid zero. Yeah. So you can get you can get a one terabyte for 360 bucks. Yeah, that's that's but 38 at raid cents a zero. Year. Performance levels, so you would increase your read speeds pretty dramatically. Yeah. And your write speeds, I guess too. Yeah. And since that 500 gig model is a little just a little bit cheaper than the one terabyte model, sure. right? Yeah. Um, so that's great. I mean, real. Doesn't look like going four two fifties is the right way. Uh, no, 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 not at ninety five dollars a piece. But hey, you could do four way RAID zero. Any concern about RAID zero with these controllers? I don't know if we have any like in terms of stability or not really. As long as you're using uh, crash I, I would I would recommend to do it on Intel first of all. Just Intel on their, controllers on their tend to be the yeah they sure. tend to be the faster you know compared to AMD controllers as far as you know, and definitely don't. Uh, a buddy of mine recently was raid zeroing on like a Marvel controller built on a motherboard or something, and those just don't. Just they don't do, do not that. do very well. Yeah, they're okay with hard drive raid, but not with SSD raid. Like they really just kind of limit the performance. Huh. Um, so, I mean, you can go four way raid. Um, don't do that. You, I mean, you could. Don't there do SSDs. That. Just, if you're gonna raid at all, make sure you're backing <laughs> up. Honestly, you should be backing up even if it's just one SSD. Just if it's just one anything, you one, should be backing yeah, I was it up. Yeah, say one drive. Um, yeah, but. That's pretty impressive then. So uh, we're at starting price, like for sale, like this is not a this is not a, a bargain basement sale. It's been out for six months type of deal where a 500 gig drive is 179 bucks. <coughs> and uh, it's 
decent, like it's good performance. Yeah. Right? We're at the point now where almost all SATA SSDs are good performing drives. Yeah. Um, so and uh, and the Silicon Motion Crucial BX100. Interesting. Yeah, that perform that controller. Um, it's actually like in pure sequential reads, it's actually even faster than like 850 Pro and stuff like that. Like it's super super fast on sequential reads. That's weird. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Well, Alan has his full review up at PCPer.com. If you want to see the benchmarks, if you want to see the proof of the uh, performance differences that we talked about here, if not, you can just go buy uh, like a dozen of them or something like that. The review link will be in the description below. We'll have a link to Amazon uh, in the description below if you do want to pick up one or more of these drives. But that is the Crucial BX100 SSD. Thanks, guys. Thanks.